The Meta Plus Institute of Nanotechnology is located at the campus of the University of Twente in the Netherlands. And the institute is quite large compared to other institutes in the Netherlands about nanotechnology. We are more than 500 researchers here, over 250 PhD students working on all kinds of things on nanotechnology. On materials, on fluidics and optics, we're looking to uh, the lab on a chip for nanomedicine. And we're looking to biomaterials, we're looking to nanophotonics. One of the focus research areas is, is nanoelectronics. Professor Wilf van der Wiel is uh, working on the, uh, the hybrid inorganic organic nanoelectronics. We have a very large project running on uh, hybrid inorganic organic uh, nanoelectronics. And the main idea behind that is uh, trying to invoke uh, molecular self-assembly, uh, basically tricks from organic chemistry, supramolecular chemistry, and then bring that into uh, nanoelectronics and finally come to uh, functional devices. The work we're doing at Mesa Plus is, uh, is really unique. We have been able to create one-dimensional molecular wires by using a host crystal and let the molecules self-assemble inside them. After that, we have been able to electrically characterize them, so knowing their transport properties. We see a huge response magnetic field, which makes them interesting for applications in magnetic field sensing. As you can imagine, in our field where we combine organic materials with inorganic techniques, it's extremely important to have uh, good collaborations with uh, chemists, organic chemists. And uh, within our institute, we have a long-standing collaboration with uh, Julian Huskens, the Molecular Nanofabrication Group. Uh, a lot of the work done uh, there is, uh, is incorporated in, uh, in our devices. The collaboration that we have with Wilfred van der Wiel aims at locally doping electronic structures. Uh, and we try to do that via molecules. That means that we design molecules with particular dopant atoms, for example, in them. We synthesize them here in our lab. We put them on the surfaces that he wants to have them. And then in his lab, they do the structuring of the electrodes and study the electronic properties. You can uh, make and design molecules that have a magnetic uh, atom in there. And uh, by putting it on a surface and coating it with a, with a very thin metal layer, you can uh, tune the spintronic properties of the, the metal layer by the magnetic atom as it is embedded in the metal electrode. Nanotechnology is a very interdisciplinary uh, area of research and therefore we have to collaborate with, with many people. Within Nanolab we have a lot of disciplines available and uh, that works out quite well because we are more material scientists, we are trying to design new materials. But in the end of course you want to use these materials in real devices. Within our research we focus on oxide materials. Uh, the reason for this is that in oxides you have many properties uh, available. So you, they can be insulating towards superconducting, they can become uh, ferroelectric or ferromagnetic. So there is a lot of properties available in these materials and if you could use them in the, to these devices that would improve the functionality of uh, novel new devices. What is unique in this uh, nanolab is that we have been uh, working for uh, two decades or so on uh, novel techniques to uh, synthesize materials where we have control at the atomic scale. So we have been developing tools uh, based on pulse laser deposition for instance, where we are able to control the growth of the materials at the atomic scale. And that means that you in fact almost can play Lego uh, at the atomic scale and that means that we can do artificial layering, atomic layer by atomic layer and in this way uh, get atomically engineered materials with the added functionality which we are looking for. When you look to the people who actually work inside the lab, you see young researchers working close to someone from a company who is there to make their first prototype or to make a small volume production. That also gives a very nice interaction that can help both worlds. For Mesa Plus, commercialization is um, very important. A lot of the young researchers within the groups have great ideas for new applications and new products. And if they also have the entrepreneurial spirit, then we, uh, we help them and facilitate them to start a new company. In the very early phase, we offer a workshop to uh, help them to create their first business plans. We help them, for example, with back-end production facilities. So what we offer, for example, in high-tech factory is uh, clean rooms and lab space and offices. So you need testing, you need assembly, you need packaging. All of those production processes that are really important for a company. 
with the support of the government, we have uh, set up an equipment fund, high tech fund. So far, the Institute has created 50 spin off companies in uh, about 12 years. Every year, three new companies come out of MetaPlus. With all these initiatives together, we create a new economy, which is important for the region and also for the country of the Netherlands. Looking to the future of Mesa Plus Institute, we want to contribute to the big challenges. So in Europe, we call it Horizon 2020. Looking to aging, looking to energy, or to solve uh, environment issues. It looks far away for nanotechnology, but nanotechnology really can help us to solve these problems as well. If we can help to solve these big issues, then it will be the success of the Mesa Plus Institute.